Six o'clock in the morning, the polls opened in Manchester. Ward 1 is usually one of the busiest polling places in the Queen City, but not this morning. This is the biggest rush that just by, right before I came over here that we're seeing it slow. I think it's very slow. For those that did turn out, for some, it wasn't a matter of a particular race, rather fulfilling their civic duty. The need to vote um, is so important these days with what's happening all over the world. Um, we have that right and privilege, so we should exercise it. For others, though, voting today represents a chance to send a message. I think this is an important vote, that um, the, the country's going in a direction that you know, I question uh, where it's going. In Bedford, a similar situation. Turnout was light, even compared to other primaries in a non-presidential year. Actually, it's a little low this morning. Uh, usually when we open at 7 o'clock in the morning, we have at least 40 to 50 people waiting to come in. Maybe we had 15 or 20. While those on the ballot have to do with state and local races, for some voters, national politics was on their mind. The speech President Biden made about a week ago, a week and a half ago, okay, with the two Marines and the brother red background. That was an insult that will not be tolerated. And in Bedford, there was also that same sense of civic duty. I never miss a vote, ever. So I feel like it's important. Um, this is how I, my uh, voice can be heard. And as one other voter put it, if you don't vote, you can't complain. Now, most polls close at 7, but the hours do vary depending upon your location. You can find out about those hours by heading to the Secretary of State's website. Reporting live in Manchester, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.